What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, past two sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,425 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Um, it's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love you guys. Okay, so um, I received a channeling, so I'm going to do it. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. One may apply, two may apply. Two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else, okay? Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, for some, it's an officer of the law, um, dirty cop energy. For some, it is um, a state employee. Um, they crossed into a jurisdiction they were not supposed to. Huge um, privacy. Um, privacy and breaking of policy and procedures, um, huge privacy violations and breaking of policies and procedures is what I heard. Um, through many series of chain events, it's their careers are about to go downhill in huge ways. Masculine and feminine energies is what I heard. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, we have our dirty cops, officer of the law, dirty cops. So dirty cop energy. Uh, masculine and feminine, I'm presuming, and then state employees, masculine and feminine state employees, I'm presuming. Now, I didn't hear specifically what kind of state employee um, this person is or these people are because uh, there's a ton of different kind of state employees. Like, for example, I'm an RN, but I used to be a state employee from uh, four, 2014 to 2019. Um, was it 19? 20. Might have been 20. Uh, 14 to 20, I think, when COVID started picking up. So I think it was 14 to 20. Um, I was just a PRN state employee, but even though I'm a registered nurse, I was a state employee. Uh, I worked for a division of the wellness uh, center in for the state of Alabama. Um, I didn't make a whole lot of money. Not at all, not at all. But I was a state employee. Um, and that's just the truth. So what I'm saying is there's many types of state employees, many, um, many. So I don't know what kind of state employee the masculine or feminine state employee is, is what I'm saying. I don't know. All I heard was state employee. So we have dirty cop, masculine or femme, dirty cop energy, uh, officer of the law energy, and masculine or femme, um, state employee. That really could resonate a million different ways for whoever. But um, I heard they crossed into a jurisdiction they shouldn't have. They broke huge privacy violations and um, broke some kind of policies and procedures. Um, through many series of chain of events, um, their career is about to go down downhill in huge ways. So their careers are about to tank. I'm presuming it's at least four people here. I'm presuming. Because uh, we have masculine and femme, dirty cop, i.e., Officer of the Law Energy, Masculine Femme, State Employee Energy. Um, career, it doesn't sound like they're going to get terminated. I didn't hear they're going to get terminated. I just heard their careers are about to go downhill. About to go downhill so quick. One of these people, through many series of chain events, will probably end up being terminated. It is so bad. Oh, God. Okay. Well, okay. So, well. Okay, so downhill career tanking. I mean, it's just boom, down, down. One of them is so bad, and I don't, I didn't hear specifics on it, but it's something that is so bad, it's involving some kind of huge privacy, breaking of privacy um, violations and policies and procedures that they will probably end up getting terminated, terminated soon. So I don't know if that's the, Officer of the law, dirty cop energy, or the state employee. I'm not sure. You plug it in, how it resonates. Lord. Let me pull a moon cycle, and then I was going to pull a kipper, and then um, we'll see if we hear anything else. 
I don't know what the crap's going on, man, but, um, you know, huge, you can't be doing privacy violations. Um, uh, well, as a nurse, the privacy violation for us would be like HIPAA and, um, violating protected health information, but I don't know what kind of, um, occupation the state employees are. So I don't know, uh, what kind of privacy they violated is what I'm trying to say. I heard outside their jurisdiction. So they did something way out of their job scope is what I'm presuming. Um, and way out of their um, scope of practice, whatever that is. Now, well, we know officer of the law, cop energy, but whatever the state employee is, is what I'm saying. You plug it in how it resonates. We have wake up call on the bottom of the deck. Number three could be a very significant number in one's life. Number three. Huge wake up calls are coming for these people. Huge. Okay, I heard huge wake-up calls coming for these people, huge. So some kind of huge wake-up call energy, um, realizations or wake-up calls, aha moments, epiphanies, light bulb moments. So wake-up call energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. They would not appreciate it if it was done to them. Not at all. And their careers are about to suffer in huge ways, and one will definitely lose their job. Okay, I heard they would not appreciate it if it was done to them at all, and um, their careers are about to suffer in huge negative ways, and um, uh, one of them is going to lose their job. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. This is good Lord. Spirit messages you have to like this. The path number eight could be very significant number in one's life. Number eight, it could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number eight, the path. These people chose bullying and harassment. And breaking, breaking huge privacy violations, violating people's rights and liberties. They made the wrong choice. And things are about to start going very downhill quickly for them. Okay, I heard these people um, chose bullying and harassment and huge privacy violations. And uh, that's like triple confirmation in here for privacy violations. And um, and basically chose the wrong, they had a choice to make and they chose the wrong one. To, uh, violating personal or people's rights and liberties, bullying, harassment, privacy violations. I mean, all those are terrible things, terrible things to do to somebody. They're just terrible. So they basically had a path to go down and they chose the wrong path. Everybody has a choice choice and choices in life to make. It's whether you make the good, healthy, copacetic choices for yourself or the not good, healthy, copacetic choices for yourself. Um, these people chose um, the wrong choices. Some of these people, it's regarding an illegal case study of the past. Some of these people, it's regarding a hidden camera, trying to cover it up. Okay, some of these people, it was regarding a uh, illegal case study of the past. And some of these people, it's regarding a hidden camera of the past that they were trying to cover it up. So some of the, whether it was the state employee or the uh, or employees or the... Um, um, officers of the law, masculine or femme, um, it's regarding some kind of illegal case study of the past, and that is huge privacy violations. 
And the thing is, is if they did the illegal case study in the past, like I said in the past, when I did a reading on the illegal case study in the past a couple of weeks ago, um, how did they do the illegal case study in the past if they didn't have incorporate a hidden camera, voyeur camera into that mix? Because the people they were doing, the person or people they were doing the hidden, um, the illegal case study on, they didn't know they were doing it on them. So how else did they incorporate it in other than a voyeur camera, i.e. a hidden camera? Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious. Um, but it's never a good choice. It's never a good path to take to illegally voyeur people um, or to um, do illegal case studies on them because that violates privacy, that violates HIPAA, that violates um, protected health information, that violates many different areas of just basic human rights and liberties. And that's just the, the truth. Um, and some of these people, they were trying to cover up a hidden camera of the past. So they made the wrong choice. They went down the wrong path. Dear Lord, have mercy. This is good Lord. A very high vibrational judge is about to really, 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 really start helping amend things regarding this situation. Fire sign judge. A very high vibrational judge is about to start helping amend uh, amend these things soon. Um, the wrongs that were done here. Uh, high vibrational fire sign judge. So um, whoever this fire sign judge is. Now I've been picking up a ju I picked up I've been picking up Judge Energy and Cancers, Aries, and Leos. So um, I heard it's a fire sign judge. So um, I'm feeling it. My I'm feeling it's Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, because I heard it's fire sign judge. I'm feeling it. They could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Libra, and different charts. Um, whoever this fire sign judge is, sir or ma'am, whoever you are, uh, sir or ma'am, judge. Um, kudos to you if you watch my channel, sir or ma'am, for um helping to start making this right because this is terrible this really is terrible yeah we have community and thief um these people um were thieves with the illegal case study they were thieves um stealers of energy time and money i'm presuming um and people's lives i mean when you illegally voyeur through a camera to do an illegal case study that's stealing moments, precious, precious private moments of people's internal home life that should not be exposed unless there's like something crazy going on, you know. Thief, thief thieves of energy, time, and money. Number 24 could be a very significant number in one's life, number 24 or number 39, number 24, 39. Heard it's a fire sign judge about to help make this right. Kudos to you, sir, ma'am, fire sign judge. I'm just saying, just saying. Uh, because this is terrible. It really is. But I know you know that. You're um, you're a judge, sir, ma'am. And my goodness, my hat's off to you. Uh, it's going to make you happy. Despair reverse. It's going to make you happy. Number um, 32 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 32. The community wants these people caught now. They want them caught. The community was, some of the community was confused in the past what was going on. Very confused. But they see much more clearly now. Much more. Well, that's good. I heard the community wants them caught now. They want them caught. Um, they were very confused on um, what was going on in the past. Um, some of them were. Some were confused, some were not. So I'm assuming um, there was probably like bullying, harassing, harassment, and like retaliation and gang stalking going on too, probably. Um, if this resonates for you and you were the one that um, was illegally foyered and had the um, illegal case study on, or, um, or um, hidden camera, however that resonates. Um, but uh, I'm sure there was probably like bullying, harassment, and gang stalking going on. Because trust me, I know I was gang stalked for like two years. So um, I'm sure it probably was you guys. Um, 
and it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. Um, but um, I heard the community wants them caught now. Some of the community community was confused on what was going on in the past. But now they see much more clearly now, and they want them caught. So it would make them very happy. Despair reversed to catch the thieves. And the community is supporting this now. I don't think the community supported it in the past because they half of them were confused of what the crap was going on, and half were probably involved in the bullying, gang stalking, and retaliation and harassment. Like in on it with the state employees or the um or the dirty cops. How that resonates. Let's see if I hear anything else. And a false marriage of the past is exactly what it is. A false marriage. The person that claimed they were in a false marriage with uh, another person that was being extremely harassed and abused, they are about to ever regret doing this. Ever regret it. Okay, and I heard a false marriage is exactly what it's says it is a false marriage um and the person that there's a somebody in here uh, masculine energy masculine energy okay so it's a masculine energy that puts somebody in a false marriage um but i heard in here it's exactly what it's it says it is it's false meaning um i mean on a fault on a marriage document for anybody doesn't know it clearly states on the marriage document because i've been married one time it clearly states on the marriage document you have to be in sound right sound mind and body and correct mental facets to even sign the marriage certificate whoever this false marriage whether it, the document was signed the marriage certificate was signed or not it ha, if it was it had been forged is what i'm saying um i don't know if this marriage document was signed by the uh, other person or not um if it wasn't it's null and void but if it was it's uh, it's it's false because it never even freaking happened. And that's forgery. So either way, it's null and void. And that's just a damn truth because it never happened. Um, I heard the person did it strictly for money. They did it strictly for money. So they were in with these people or they are one of these people um, that did the false marriage, how that resonates. Um, but I heard um, it's about to start going very downhill for that person very quickly. It's a masculine energy, whoever this person is and how they apply. But they should have never done that. Whether they forged the other person's signature or had somebody else to forge the other person's signature, or it just never was signed by the other person. Any of those that it's null and void because it never freaking happened. And the thing is, is um uh like with marriage certificates, you have to go up to the courthouse. Um, or at least when I when I got married, you had to, to get a marriage certificate, you had to go up to the actual courthouse to get your marriage certificate. I'm not talking about the nice, fancy ceremony that people spend like 10 G's, 20 G's, 40 G's, 50 G's on. I'm talking about the actual marriage certificate. You actually have to go up to the courthouse with your partner in a little office. I, I'm picturing it exactly in my head, the one here locally. And you have to go in together, sign that puppy. Me and my ex-husband did that when we got married. We got our marriage certificate. We never had a fancy wedding. Me and him didn't because we wanted to save money. But we went up to the courthouse and got our marriage uh, document. And then we got married um, by someone at the courthouse. Back when you could. Back when you could here. But, um, so yeah, of course I know times have changed. Times have changed since I've been married. Times have changed. but. It makes me wonder how that even occurred because obviously the person they mar they supposedly married never even went with them to the courthouse to sign it and to consent in the little office or whatever 
that is for whoever in whatever courthouse is what I'm saying. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. I mean, I'm serious. Um, so I don't know. But I heard it's about to go downhill very quickly for the person that put somebody in a false marriage. It's a masculine energy that did it, and he should. And I think he either is one of these people or he's connected to the, these people. However, that resonates. All right. Well, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful night and I'll stay.